I was preparing my thoughts together for today when a good friend of mine, retired Navy Commander Michael Erickson, suggested I read an article in the BFW magazine about the meaning of Memorial Day. That article began with a quote from President Lincoln from his Gettysburg Address. He said, from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. What was that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion? And what will ensure that these dead shall not have died in vain? What was the cause for which the honored dead at Gettysburg and every battle and conflict since, since then, including the Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the Middle East, Iraq and Afghanistan, gave their lives? What was that cause for which so many of our family, friends, and neighbors sacrificed their lives? That cause was to preserve the ideals that are uniquely American, and what are our unique American ideals? Perhaps President Hoover said it best when he said, an ideal is a selfish asp aspiration. Its purpose is the general welfare not only of this, but of future generations. Those unique American ideals, they began with the Declaration of Independence declaring that all men are created equal and that we have the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Those ideals have evolved into the American dream. It's knowing that you can rise from any beginning to be whatever you want to be in life according to your abilities and your achievements. And that you can achieve these goals by seeking opportunities and working hard. These are the core values of America's greatness. And we as Americans must hold to these values. Never let anyone take them from us. And always remember to pay our respects to those who lost their lives protecting these values. And by doing this, we ensure that these dead shall not have died in vain. We don't do this by just setting aside one day a year's Memorial Day. We don't do this by having a moment of silence, just having a moment of silence after the Pledge of Allegiance. We do this by making sure that, in the words of President Reagan, we will preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth and preserving and protecting our great nation, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, is how we pay tribute to those who have died protecting us. Thank you for coming this morning. God bless you all.